Hey everybody, it's Raven Maureen. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to share with you everything that I plan to make for May because we have another trip. I am going to Detroit and Toronto at the end of the month. So thankfully I've already made some things for this trip just because I've been making things consistently this year. But also, of course I gotta make some new stuff. So I'm gonna be sharing that. And then some of the things behind me are actually going to kind of be like for my honeymoon. So I have a lot of things to make for my honeymoon. I figured I'd get started early and why not start in May? So let's go ahead and jump into everything that I plan to make for the month of May. So let's jump right into my trip for Toronto. And so I plan on making this new Mimi G pattern with this really great groovy print. I got this from LA Finch and it's about two yards and it is see-through. So I also ordered some power mesh from Mood to go underneath it. I think this is gonna be really cute to go out to dinner with. And by the way, I am going to Toronto with one of my best girlfriends. So this is definitely a girl's trip and we are gonna be cute. <laughs> and because it's Toronto and I hear there's a fabric land out there, I definitely wanna make a trip out there. So I'll probably be documenting this trip a little bit better than the bachelorette weekend i also plan to make simplicity 9598 and it's going to be in my favorite black bullet fabric again um, if you have been watching my other videos you would know that i have been using this fabric for a couple of other things i just love that snapback y'all like it's so good so i figured i would make one of these views i'm not sure which one yet and it'll be like a really pretty black dress that I could have and possibly even take on my honeymoon later. So we'll see. So a little bit of something that I did not get to last month, 97.40. And I'm still gonna try and use the sea foam <laughs> with this and I still wanna make it in a maxi. I plan on doing the Brooks jean shorts out of this that is by Helen's Closet. Again, something that I was trying to get to last month and I'm gonna throw it in this pile here. And I and I also plan to wear this throughout the summer, possibly even on my honeymoon. So it is something that's gonna to have to get made this month at least. New Simplicity 9746 and this really great seersucker. I don't know, I just, um, I really like the seersucker for this. I had other plans for the seersucker if you've been following along and that just didn't work out. And so I think I'm gonna do this. And um, I don't know if anyone's like obsessed with the Royals. I kind of loosely am. I love Meghan Markle. I loved Princess Diana. And there is like old footage of her wearing like a one shoulder um, maxi, like almost like a striped maxi. And if I if I see the picture again, I'll pull it up but in, and add it here. But um, she was wearing something like that and i thought you know what i bet you this dress in seersucker would, would be really cute and kind of like an updated version of like what she wore back in the 80s so i'm really excited to make this i got this fabric from joann's last year and this fabric is kind of like a linen blend it has I've had like different thoughts and ideas about this fabric over and over again. And um, I am actually going to make the Charlie Caftan by Closet Core Patterns. And this will be for my honeymoon. Um, but it is something that I think will just be beautiful for summer period just because um, it is it is a caftan, but I feel like it's a wearable caftan, meaning that you don't have to be on the beach to wear it. You can, you can be on the street and wear something like this. So these two fabrics are both from Hobby Lobby and it's kind of interesting. So um, I pulled these two fabrics because they're in a way giving me like a similar vibe. And I also have a similar dress that I wanna make with both of them. There is the Mabel dress um, by Tilly and the Buttons that I've been trying to make since last month and the Dream Frock, which I've made before and I wanna make again and so it's kind of like one of the other has to happen this month 
I don't know about both. I don't know if I have time for both. If I do, that's great, but one or the other, both if I'm lucky. So last month I talked about McCall's 8104 and I said, hey, I messed up the first one I made. It didn't quite fit right and I wanna give it another try. Well, this is that month that I wanna give it another try. So I would like to use this dark floral fabric to make this um, pattern. I'm not sure which view I wanna do yet. I've seen it done in like almost every view on this paper or on this envelope. And I feel like you can't go wrong with either one. So I really plan on making this this month. And the final thing that I plan to make for my honeymoon is this new Laura Ashley pattern or vintage Laura Ashley pattern by McCall's. I have this really great multicolor linen fabric that I got from Dress Sew in Canada. And I have been looking for the right pattern to use this with. And so I think that because by all accounts, this seems to be like a really sweeping, just very large dress. I think that this will just be perfect with it. So wish me luck. <laughs> And I would say Butterick B6901 is going to get honorable mention for this month. Um, I'm going to say that I would like to start this pattern this month. I don't have any fabric here for it yet because I'm still trying to figure that out. But I would like to have this completed by my birthday in June. Fingers crossed. We'll see. So this is the pattern. It's got a vest and shorts or the vest and pants i really like the vest and shorts and i want it to be matching um not necessarily like coordinating colors like how you see on the line illustration so wish me luck on this we are going to get started on this and um i can't wait <laughs> All right, you guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're not following me on other social media channels, don't forget to follow me at Raven Maureen on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and right here on YouTube. All right, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.